in this episode of paraphilic disorders, we are going to focus on pedophilic disorder. Pedophilic disorder is a paraphilic disorder in which a person has repeated and intense sexual urges or fantasies about watching, touching, or engaging in sexual acts with children and either acts on these urges or experiences clinically significant distress or impairment. So a person with pedophilic disorder, once again, experiences equal or greater sexual arousal from children than from physically mature people. This arousal is expressed through fantasies, urges, or behaviors. Those with the disorder may be attracted to pubescent children, which is the classic type. Early pubescent children, which is the hippophilic type. Or both, which is the pedohippophilic type. Now, some people with pedophilic disorder are satisfied by child pornography or seemingly innocent material, such as children's underwear ads. Others are driven to actually watch, touch, fondle, or engage in sexual intercourse with children. Some people with the disorder are attracted only to children. Others are attracted to adults as well. Both boys and girls can be pedophilic victims, but there is evidence suggesting that two-thirds are girls. People with pedophilic disorder usually develop their pattern of sexual need during adolescence. Some were themselves sexually abused as children, and many were neglected excessively punished or deprived of genuinely close relationships during childhood. It is not unusual for them to be married and to have sexual difficulties or other frustrations in life that lead them to seek an area in which they can be masters. Often, these individuals are immature. Their social and sexual skills may be underdeveloped, and thoughts of normal sexual relationship fill them with anxiety. Some people with pedophilic disorder also have distorted thinking, such as, quote-unquote, it's all right to have sex with children as long as they agree. It is not uncommon for pedophiles to blame the children for adult child sexual contacts or to assert that the children benefited from the experience. While many people with this disorder believe that their feelings are indeed wrong and abnormal, others consider adult sexual activity with children to be acceptable and normal. Some even have joined pedophile organizations that advocate abolishing the age of consent laws. The internet has opened the channels of communication among such people, and there is now a wide range of websites, news groups, chat rooms, forums, and message boards centered on pedophilia and adult child sex. Studies have found that most men with pedophilic disorder also display at least one additional psychological disorder. 
Some theorists have proposed that pedophilic disorder may be related to biochemical or brain structure abnormalities, such as irregular patterns of activity in the amygdala or in the frontal areas of the brain. But such abnormalities have yet to receive consistent research support. Most pedophilic offenders are imprisoned or forced into treatment if they are caught. After all, they are committing child abuse when they take any steps towards sexual contact with a child. There are now many residential registration and community notification laws across the United States that help law enforcement agencies and the public account for and control where convicted child sex offenders live and work. Now, Treatments for pedophilic disorder include those already mentioned for other paraphilic disorders such as aversion therapy, masturbatory satiation, cognitive behavioral therapy, and other types of drugs. Now, one widely applied cognitive behavioral treatment for this disorder, relapse prevention training, is modeled after the relapse prevention training programs used in the treatment of substance use disorders. In this approach, clients identify the kinds of situations that typically trigger their pedophilic fantasies and actions, such as depressed mood or distorted thinking. They then learn strategies for avoiding those situations or coping with them more appropriately and effectively. Relapse prevention training has sometimes, but not consistently, been of help in this and certain other paraphilic disorders. <laughs>